Solar energy. Its future looked bright, but even the sunniest forecasts can have clouds. In this video, I'll give you a quick update on the latest trends in the solar industry, and more specifically, the rise and fall, and potentially rise again, of Enphase Energy. If you are a fan of the channel, you'll know that I just bought Enphase Energy about a month ago, thinking that I was getting a pretty good deal. And now, well, let's just say if you didn't buy then, you have an even better opportunity now. I made this video to give you an update on my current thoughts. But before I tell you what I think now, let me quickly give you an update on what's been happening this year with Enphase. Earlier this year, Enphase Energy, a titan on the NASDAQ, saw its stock value plummet by almost 30%. The anticipation was that the domestic market for solar panels would weaken due to higher interest rates and dips in export rates from California. These interest rates, often critical for financing solar installations, elongated payback periods and made upgrades pricier. The ripples of this change extended further than investors had estimated, as evident from the recent second quarter earnings of Enphase. Historically, the second quarter has been promising for Enphase, but history chose not to revisit this time. Revenue took a 12% dip sequentially. But the full tell isn't told just yet. Excluding California, sell-through of microinverters faced a fall of 11% year over year. And Enphase is yet to witness the complete ramifications of California's evolving export rate. Yet, amidst the storm, Enphase's battery business stood as a beacon, aiding their financial health. These aren't just any batteries, they command strong profit margins, propelling gross margins to soar above 46%. Crossing the oceans, Enphase's international panorama looked somewhat brighter. Europe's revenue boomed by 25% from the previous quarter, tripling from the year before. Similarly, Australia and Brazil showcased robust growth. But were these silver linings enough to eclipse the shadow at home? Not quite. A massive market sell-off loomed large as full-year projections took a back seat. Yet, California's reduced energy buying might just be the magic wand for Enphase's battery storage. Those who once returned their surplus solar energy might now think about storing it. And there's more. Enphase's core strategy leans heavily on international embracement. And guess what? They're still in the game, holding strong with a resilient market share, especially with their game-changing microinverters. Their bond with distributors and customers? Unshakable. It's this very edge that could steer Enphase towards a brighter horizon. Okay, so what's the takeaway from all of this? Stay patient with Enphase. Challenges loom as interest rates soar, but don't lose sight of the global dream of solar installations. Solar energy remains a front runner in the renewable race still reigning as the most cost-effective electricity form. With Enphase's state-of-the-art microinverters and expanding reach, long-term growth is its not just a hope, it's a plausible reality. Now, I'm down on this investment so far, but this is why diversification is so important. Enphase only represents a small piece of my portfolio. So spread your wealth around. Don't, don't put all of your eggs into one basket. And that's it. For now, I'm holding. 
these are my current thoughts on Enphase Energy. If you enjoyed this quick update into the Solar Saga, hit that like button and subscribe for more insights, updates, and stories from the world of stocks and investing. Remember, the future is bright, and together, we can make it even brighter. I'm the Stocks Guy, and I'll be back soon with another video. Peace.